And now to the varsity scholarship crisis and hundreds of students from needy families have missed out on government funding and sponsorship on account of being underage. The students, many of whom were unable to write their end of semester exams due to fees arrears, are accusing the government of going back on its promise that no student would miss out on government funding. But as Mary Mwoki now reports, the Higher Education Loan CEO, Charles Ringera, however, says that the board only received 26,000 loan applications from underage applicants and they have all received their scholarship with an exception of just a few select cases. John Mora is a 17-year-old first-year student at the Kisi University who is among the hundreds of first-year students in the country who did not receive funding from the Higher Education Loans Board on account of their underage status. There has been confusion over the eligibility of these students to secure scholarships or any kind of funding owing to their lack of national identity cards. In late August, the cabinet waived a requirement of a national ID card for underage student scholarship and loan applicants as it sought to make them eligible for allocations from the Higher Education Loans Board. However, this unprecedented decision did nothing for majority of underage university students who were yet to receive any funding from the government. The students whose identity we have hidden because they are minors and to avoid victimization say their future in school is bleak at the moment. <laughs> Continue applying help lo help and loan. Wananiambia ni apply help na loan. Na hiyo help in itaji ID ukwe na ID na mimi sina ID. We tried accessing the funding the help portal which is currently new and uh, it denied me at first because I was not of legal age to apply for the loan and for the scholarship. So after that, we found out that if we are not able, we have to wait until I attain 18 years. So my mom has been really struggling to pay for the fees. When I hear that what work on a piece of upkeep, I mean, I have to, I have to like, struggle it with my mom sometimes so I kind of feel it's kind of discouraging to me also. Despite cabinet's directive to the higher education loans board meant to circumvent the legal quagmire of entering into contractual agreement with the minors, help has seemingly not heeded to the directive. Some first-year students from Egerton University are also sailing in the same boat after the higher education funding locked them out of scholarships. The students who come from needy families now want the government to fulfill its pledge the no child will be locked out of higher education funding. Kila mtu amepata. Mimi ndo nimebaki. Ndio. Na dini wewe. Niliwaomba wanikopeshe kidogo ili niweze kujikimu mzazi hana uwezo kabisa. Kwa sababu vijana wawili wapo shule ya sekondari. Alafu wengine waliobaki wanne the government to give us the, the, the amount we need so that we can be able to proceed with our studies. While denying that the board is penalizing learners for being too young, the Higher Education Loans Board CEO Charles Ringera told Citizen TV on phone that of the 26,000 applications without IDs, 23,000 applications were successfully processed and their tuition loan and scholarship paid to their respective universities and colleges. Ringera says the challenge they have is upkeep loan which goes to the student's bank account or M-Pesa accounts. He further says that while 30% was successfully credited to parents or guardians' bank accounts, 70% was rejected by the bank as the payee name did not match the account owner. In other instances, he says the parents received the money and did not release it to the student. He says help is working with the banks and Safaricom to resolve the issue. Mirimoki, Citizen TV.